Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you. We praise you. Before the break, we saw amazing healings, creative miracles, and also the scripture that says that God has sent angels to minister to us, to serve us, and as they minister, they bring salvation to those who are heirs of salvation. So, Father, we thank you for this knowledge that you have given us this afternoon that even the parts of the body are brought into a body by the angels when we command them to do so and we saw that amazing healing where this girl had fallen at the age of 7 and now 16 she took off her braces and she began to walk as if nothing had happened. Lord, this is amazing. And thank you for these miracles, creative miracles. And all this through your word, O oh Lord. We thank you, we praise you, Lord. As you have commanded the angels to do that, from now on we can command the angels to help us and assist us to operate in love. Father, as you open up the mysteries and the secrets that are hidden, we are all excited to receive more and more from you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 1 John 4, 16. 1 John 4, 16. How many of you, after listening to what happened just now, have made a decision to talk to your angels? Only one. Good. Two. What about the others? Are you not going to talk to your angels to get forth your, your, your package? Is my voice reaching you? After reading the notes, then then you are going to make a decision to practice it. Yes, yes, because because if we who are writing the notes start practicing in no time, you will see not only your life has changed, your life has become uh, super super beautiful, but you are making others' life also super beautiful. Okay, okay. But, but at least you can make a decision today what you just saw. Yes. As I told you at 3 o'clock when I saw that, mm. I instantly made a decision, Lord, from now on, if I get somebody in that condition, I am going to use the scripture. But that person had not given the scripture, but I, I know the scripture. Yes. Okay. But I did not know that I can tell the angels to bring the parts of the body and fix it up and operate it instantly without a cut, without surgery. It, didn't it look too simple? Hello, didn't it look too simple? She just took her braces out and she, she just did it. The arthritis also the same. And, and the, I met the mother outside. She said, it is so amazing that all of them are talking to each other and saying, it's totally weird. Because they are not used to these kinds of creative miracles. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, so when we make a decision and a commitment to God to use it every day, for us it's a weird when it doesn't happen. Hallelujah. I was so excited in the morning at 3, 3.30 when I saw the video and I was saying, God, today give me. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. Today. Okay, 1 John 4, 16 And we have known and believed 
the love that God has to us. God is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. Hallelujah. So the word of God says that the love is the root connection between us and God. Hallelujah. So, so because, because of that love, God has come all the way from heaven, took a place, took our place on the cross. It is because of love and that he paid the price to set us free. And all this is because of love. Hallelujah. So, so right now, all those things that you saw, what's the, what's the root of it? Love. Why, now, did God give us this gift by lots and lots of sacrifices or did he give this gift out of love? Now, now the elder sister, did she ever think that she had the power to destroy arthritis in the younger sister? No, but when she saw the scripture and she opened her mouth and began to speak, what did, do, what did love do? The one who keeps his word, the love of God is perfected in him. What did love do? Love found that sickness called arthritis and killed it. And the baby who experienced that healing, she was going on continuously crying. Because after so many years, she would have found her joints absolutely free. Now, when that sister got love, she poured that love into the brother. He got healed. Can you see that? So everything that we get from God, everything that is passed on to us, is through love. The miracles are through love. Healing is through love. Forgiveness is through love. Faith comes through love. Because God is love and he that dwells in love dwells in God. So what should be my top priority in life? To rebel or operate in love? So all that you saw just now happening and these people who are set free, what was that? God's love. So all this time this family was suffering, what had been cut off? God's love. And when love was cut off, what did the thief do? He was stealing their health right from childhood, destroying their life. So what is God's love going to do? God's love is going to bring me into a relationship, into a fellowship where I can trust him on his word and when I trust him on his word his word will manifest with signs and wonders that's when he says all those who believe in me these signs will follow them means what all those who believe in love is Jesus love so all those who believe in love these signs will follow them so what will love do love will cast out demons love will touch the sick and heal the sick Love will confirm every word that is being preached with accompanying signs and wonders. So now I understand that every day the challenge is am I operating in love or am I operating in bitterness? Amen? Amen. So write down, I cannot separate God. I cannot separate God from his love. 1 John 4.16 I cannot separate God from his love. Why? Because when a person is operating in love, he is dwelling in God and God is dwelling in him because God is love. So every time a person makes a decision to commit himself to obey God, now is he connected to God? Yes. And the more and more time that he, that he fights his thoughts that tries to disconnect him from God and he is fighting it and 
still remaining connected will every work of the devil start getting destroyed yes so what's my battle to get victory or is my battle to get into love hello is my battle every day to get victory or is my battle every day to commit myself to love so when i commit myself to love will healing flow will miracles flow will will anointing flow will wealth and riches flow everything of god will flow was joseph walking in love in the old testament did that love supply everything to him did love take him to become the governor come on did love give him the wisdom to to rule over egypt did love help him to be a blessing to his family did love help him to save mankind when there was famine come on did love help uh, pharaoh to get his investment multiplied so the more and more i force myself commit myself to walk in love will now blessings follow me yes. so so am i supposed to chase love or am i supposed to chase blessing chase love. love so when i chase love will blessing chase me yes will wealth chase me yes. will healing chase me yes. will deliverance chase me yes. will all my needs chase me yes. so whom am i supposed to chase love, love. and do we get opportunities to practice this love yes <coughs> might be you are in a ministry and you won't get a chance to sing or you might not get a chance to preach or you might not get a chance to be a volunteer but one thing is sure everybody will get a chance is to make a decision to walk in agape love with one another and when you do that you cannot be separated from god because god is love amen amen so write down love is the root love is the root to all that is god's love is the root to all that is god's what is that anointing miracles wealth healing etc and all that makes up god so if you are looking for anointing what do you need to what's the root love you are looking for miracles love you are looking for wealth love blessings love healings love deliverance love gifts and charisms love so love 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 so what kind of love agape love and to operate on this love as god poured that love in me yes now just because the speaker is here and if i put it off it's off but when i put it on now the speaker will work for me in the same way when i put on love by committing myself to be doing what the word say, word of god says now everything in my life will work in favor of me hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so what is the meaning of the word to love god write down to love god to love god is to love his word to love god is to love his word and and align your life to love god is to love his word and align your life and align your life according to what it says 
and align your life according to what it says can we say that again what does it mean to love god to love god means to love his word and then align my life according to what it says now what is the meaning of the word align my life what is life do we have life yes yes did jesus come to give life yes so when you have life why did he come to give life do we have life so what is life you said yes what is life align my life okay let's let's put it this way if i have ungodly thoughts how will be my life godly or ungodly if my words are ungodly what well, will be my life my decisions are ungodly how will be my life my habits are ungodly how will be my life my character will is un, un, ungodly how will be my character my desires are ungodly so what is life life is the sum total of my words thoughts feelings decisions actions habits character my desires my will when i have the whole package it becomes my life so what's the challenge every day to align my words to god's word so doctor's report says i'm sick the pain in my leg says i am in pain now when somebody asks me how's your leg what do you say my legs are paining or oh, thank you jesus by your wounds my legs are completely healed now did you tell a lie no you spoke your faith because faith does not have physical evidence it has only spiritual evidence so how do you change from your life to god kind of life by changing your words by changing your thinking changing your desire changing your passion hallelujah hallelujah so what's the challenge every day first of all to love his word to align your life to his word so whatever you are reading whatever you are understanding from the word that god has declared now your challenge is how can i bring this mind to obedience to that word and the le- and the quicker and quicker you change your thinking to his word the quicker and quicker your life is transformed not only your life is transformed through this transformed life you will experience extreme victory hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus write down god is not selfish god is not selfish and neither is love god is not selfish and neither is love now what was that you gave her just a small paper is there any value for that paper nothing but what she is writing words and when she begins to practice will that small sheet of paper that you just gave her change her future yes. but you tore it from your book how can you do that sorry give there sharing so did you think about your benefit or her benefit 
because when she gave you when you gave her the paper and she writes it after that she will give the paper back to you <laughs> no so you that means you are not going to get the paper from her are you sure so why did you give her you are not going to get anything from her or might be she is going to give you some euros <laughs> So you saw that from afternoon that you have come, whatever was written, when it was spoken, you saw those miracles. She just walked in. She did not see. So you are saying, "Hey, you don't know what you are missing. You can be sit down here and not write, and never take those notes, and never go on those notes. Your life is still going to be the same." those notes are written so that you go home and practice them and when you practice them they will always always bring results why because they are truths and what will these truths do help you to renew your mind help you to make the correction and wherever things had gone wrong and you renew your mind you open your mouth and you speak it and you apply it result is guaranteed that it's going to work for you Do you drive? Do you drive a car? So when you put a reverse gear, did you pray to God, Lord, let it go reverse? When you put a reverse gear in your car, then did you pray to God, let the car go reverse? I just hope. You just hope? Oh my God! So if you are at the end of the cliff. edge and you parked it reverse now you will hope that it doesn't go reverse <laughs> or you are sure when you put the gear you are sure whether it will go forward or reverse in the same way when a person as aligned is thinking to the word of god he is sure now his life which was a miserable life is going to turn into victory because he has aligned his life to the word of god amen thank you jesus thank you jesus right down i must ask myself i must ask myself have i been in pursuit I must ask myself have I been in pursuit of love or have I been pursuing my own selfish will wow have I been in pursuit of love that is god or have I been pursuing my own selfish well praise god praise god when was the last time you were thinking about your own benefits nobody praise god i knew it is it is always going to be in ireland that way because you irish people who are missionaries always thinking about the benefits of the kingdom and other people and my indian people also who came to ireland they also changed from their uh you know own benefit now they have also become like irish people all the time with kingdom benefit praise god praise god why do you know why i come to ireland so that even i change <laughs> when i'm here for 3 weeks even i go back change and my wife says what happened to you <laughs> come on in a life what do you pursue first even our prayers come on even our prayers if you prayed for 20 minutes how much of the prayer was for your benefit 100% brother biju full 20 minutes <laughs> thank god your wife is not hearing that <laughs> because she will be playing 18 minutes for others and 2 minutes for herself and the family 
so you you might be saying because we two are one so she does that i do this so now it comes to 40 minutes 20 minutes there 20 minutes here brother balance sheet is done hallelujah come on which one do we pursue honestly do we pursue love or do we pursue our own desires Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Now how many of you ever prayed for promotion in life? You they don't give promotion. It's based on salary according to number of hours for everybody the same. There is promotion but you all never pray for promotion. Glani, did you ever pray for promotion? See yes or no yes. don't show me your good smile <laughs> Veena yes. yeah yes. what about you brother biju yes what about you sister never prayed for promotion yes. i prayed that i get to do my work whatever okay but no promotion no, no. never prayed for promotion no. and that's why you never got promoted promotion so they, they so they never give you promotion well, I, I promotion yeah. so you told them i don't want it okay so when they gave you you said it is not right for me to receive right when they gave, did give you promotion you said it's not right for you to give me promotion anyway i did not desire um. okay all those who are desiring for promotion Why do you desire for promotion? Now there's a young baby there. After you you are in college school. School. After a few years you will go to work. No? Or first get married then search for work. <laughs> will you go for work first? Yeah. Now let's say you came for a job. and i am the person taking the interview i am asking you why should i give you a job what would you say because i want promotion so why should i give you a job you work hard okay what about you now be you don't give me the same answer <laughs> I have got a good smile. I keep smiling the whole day. Brother Biju, what about you, sister? Why should I give you a job? I'm tired. She's retired. No, 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 no. Let, let, let's go way back to the young days. Why should I give you a job? You have come for an interview. I okay, okay. I have applied for it and depending on what the company is looking for. Um I you know, I have been I wouldn't apply for a job unless I had the um what was needed for that particular job. Um the qualifications um, So in other words you are saying you are qualified that's why you should give me a job. Yeah, good. What about you, brother? Why should I give you a job? Because I'm good at it. You're good in that job. Yeah. Good. Good. What about you, Glenn? I'm qualified and good enough. I'm qualified and I'm good enough. And what about you, Vina? <laughs> Sorry. She knows the answer. Okay, she knows the answer. Okay. What about you, Vijay? You don't know the answer. Okay. The reason people give you a job is because they got a problem and you are saying I am willing to solve your problem. If they had no problem, they'll never give you a job. So when somebody is saying I want a promotion, the person is saying my capacity on this level is 
you know I, I, my capacity on this level is not being used completely my potential is much high and therefore i am expecting you to give me bigger problems which i promise to solve those problems in the best possible way and that's called promotion but when we are praying for promotion are we praying that i can solve bigger problem than this uh, or am i saying i can get bigger euros for this hello Ah, thank God, one person gave me the answer. Others, most of them seated here will say, it's because my potential is not being used. I am no use for the benefit of the country, benefit for the kingdom. That's why I'm praying for promotion. Is that right? So am I pursuing love or my own benefits? So the person gets promotion. Along with the promotion, the uh, responsibility has increased. Now the person is in depression. <laughs> because the focus was euros. But with the euros came another package. Baby, am I talking right? Yes. So now you will never pray for promotion? <laughs> no, baby, you are so young. If you make up your mind, the reason somebody is putting me on a job is because that person has trusted me that I can solve his problem. And if I have not been able to solve that problem, then I failed in my job. How many people do you think go to work with an intention that I'm supposed to solve as many jobs as I can? And if a person has got that kind of an attitude, that person is always going to be a blessing. That person is all the time looking for operating in love, not looking at his own benefit. And the more and more the person is focused on love, blessings will now begin to follow him. Yes, please God. Only two, five minutes. Write down. Selfishness will hinder... Selfishness will hinder God's love. Selfishness will hinder God's love from operating in my life. Selfishness will hinder God's love from operating in my life. Allow love, allow love to overcome your selfishness. Allow love to overcome your selfishness. Praise God. Sister Veena, can you please come here? You're on the camera. <laughs> okay, tell us something about love. What you have experienced. About the selfless love. From a personal life. Personal life, anybody's life, but share something. As brother said, God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God. And it is not just a words, it is an experience. It's experience which is very much within you. We all of us have experienced the love of a mother, of a sister, of a husband or a child. And we have seen when you don't get that love, what it means to be loved or to give a love. And that's the very same thing I have experienced throughout my life from my parents, from my sisters, from my in-laws. Because the day I got married, I said, this was my true prayer, I'm telling you honestly. And I've been fortunate to receive that love, even from my in-laws. I said, Lord, 
create in my mother-in-law or father-in-law's heart a true love just like they will love their own daughter and today proudly i can say they love me my father-in-law is no more but i can truly say he loved me as his own daughter stood for daughter-in-law in front of everyone else and same thing today with my mother-in-law as well and i'm so blessed to be to receive that love even from my husband as well which is again i can say which is not <laughs> Because it, is is not, <laughs> because it is not conditional, it is, it, is, it is not kind of what he expects from me or I expect from him, irrespective of what is being done or not, it's always there and it is based on a trust, it is based on honesty, it doesn't matter where I go, where, when I come back, whom I speak, we are back to the same nest where we started and we are free to come back to that same nest because of that unconditional love and that love which we which is a foundation of our married life i suppose and we are able to pour that love into our children and again over the period of time over the years it has strengthened because again all glory and honor to him because we both every day of our life abide in him receive his love and share it to each other and then share it to our children and share it to everyone to whom we go to to whom we speak to to we we use ourselves to be a blessing in the lives of others because why again it's not one uh, two sided it is one sided because we receive pleasure we receive it's very hard to explain in words it, it, it is just it's beyond words the the what you experience or what you are seeing in return when you are a blessing to others and that's again that agape love agape love yes. and I, I i i can just say thank god for this beautiful love that he has poured into our hearts to each other to be a blessing to everyone who comes into our lives so that we can work together in building the body of Christ for his kingdom all glory and honor to him praise god praise the lord praise wonderful now close make the closing prayer <laughs> see i did not call you the lord said just call her and ask her to do share something on love and make the closing prayer was it good yes Yes. Go ahead. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you. We adore you. We glorify you. Thank you, our Father, that you loved us so much. You did not hesitate to give your only one beloved son so that we will have eternal life. Thank you Lord for the love that you have poured into each and every one of us and thank you Lord for this day and this day would would go I cannot go no unnoticed without thanking God for Ansi and her family for making this day happen in Edendary thank you Lord for this day and all the blessings that you have poured because of your love in each other's life lord let it this be a beginning to step out in faith sharing your love to everyone whom we meet this day and every day of our life we make this prayer in the mighty anointed name of jesus mm -hmm. and children of god say amen amen amen, amen. amen. Anybody wants healing, you can be the okay. You'll be the camera if you're coming there. Is it okay for you? Or That's the you camera. Know? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah come. Please stand. Yeah, tell me what, what's wrong. I have a tinnitus. What? Ringing.
in my ear. Yeah. Ringing in the ear. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, it's okay, that's see, all. See, yeah, for her. Come. Yeah, Who is next? Years. For nearly three years. Yeah, come and finish it. Anybody else? You said earlier about hearing. Yeah. And you looked at me or the gentleman was beside me. Both of you. I did both of us. I was looking at both of you. Oh, right. Because he had a walking stick. <laughs> the stick <laughs> told me he yeah. needs a healing. I Come, 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 heal her. Yeah. No, no, let it be. Yeah, she's going to do it. Yeah. What is, what is wrong with you? Well, I just, my hearing is not uh, 100%. I have hearing aids for the last okay, 10 Okay, hearing. Glenny, come on, open your eyes. last 10 years, you know. The years. gentleman was a premature baby and he's problem with his hearing since birth. So I thought maybe he was the man you were speaking to Doesn't rather than... Anybody you know. wants healing? Any, anybody? Yeah. Go, go, open, open. Yeah. Physically, only yeah. for him. So, I, I didn't know. And he didn't come Okay, right okay. Up She's going to pray and the ears are going to be open. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. Anybody else? Brother Prasham. What is wrong? It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. It's not there. Not there. Not there. The spirit of fear. Okay. Can you just close your eyes and close your eyes? The word is the word of God. The power is the word of God. Okay. It is the word of God. Okay. It's the word of God. You can look towards me. She is going to ask you questions. You can answer. <laughs> okay, ask her. No, no, just turn the issue. This oh, will read her lips. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Go ahead. What's your name, Mary? Go ahead. Where are you from? Mullingar. Did you come by walking or by drive? I drove. Yes. With the hearing aid, you were not hearing. <laughs> She's so happy. A glammy. It's not me. It's Jesus. I know that. <laughs> You know, the brother who came, hmm? the brother who had the premature. Yes. Okay, do you know him? He's a friend of mine, yes. Okay, so if possible, how far is he staying? He's not too far from here. Um, so if you can call him by the time we pack up, his ears can be open. Can you bring him a little more? How far I, is he? I, He's only about five minutes by car. Okay. When we are talking about I will bring him and I will ask him. Yeah. And tell him. And you, while talking, talk through this year, not with the hearing aid. Was that good? Ten years. Ten years, yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, keep on thanking Jesus. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't be able to hear that this is Yeah. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Keep on the practice I'm thanking God. Thank that's, God. Beca that's because you believe. It's all about yes, understanding. Yeah. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. I have been told at a retreat there just five weeks ago that I've been called as a prayer warrior. I've been praying for people. And so today we learned that everybody can do it. You saw those healings, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. So by speaking God's word, every one of us can do it. And believing it. He said he couldn't do, where was it? In, in Galilee he couldn't because 